Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. Today is January 7th, 2020. This is a mid-month general love reading for the sign of Gemini. Because this is a general love reading, it can pertain to any kind of relationship, situation, or circumstance that you're dealing with. You name it, it might apply. Be flexible with the energy. Don't be concerned about the gender of the cards or the pronouns that I'm using to describe them. You can be represented by any of the characters that shows up in the cards. You can mix and match. Don't try to make the reading resonate. You'll know if it is, and you'll know who you are in the cards in the reading. You might feel like I'm reading for you, but you could also feel like you're cross-watching for somebody that you're dealing with. So as always, take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. My intention is to reach as many people as I can who need the message the most and who will benefit from the message. Okay, Gemini, so I want to give this deck a couple more shuffles, and then we'll get started and see what's going on for you guys in January 2020. I hope your holiday season went well. I hope the new year is treating you well so far. We're one week in. So far, 51 weeks to go. <laughs> Let's see what else comes up for Gemini. Here we go. All right, we're going to start off with the Queen of Pentacles in your underlying energy. And she is paired with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Page of Swords in reverse. The Lovers. There's your card. The Ten of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Cups. Three of Pentacles. And the Sun in reverse. Okay, Gemini, so we have the, the Queen of Pentacles in your underlying energy. I do feel like this is you. The Queen of Pentacles is a very loyal, compassionate energy. This is somebody who is um, capable of taking care of themselves um, on solid ground. Um, someone who looks after others first before worrying about herself. Um, this can be a mother, um, a good friend. This could be a partner. Um, this per person is certainly wifey material if it is a romantic partner. Um, because like I said, they're very loyal, compassionate, and responsible. <clears throat> Paired with the Six of Pentacles. There might be some imbalance, could be financial imbalance that you're dealing with right now. Could be some imbalance in a relationship. Ten of Wands in reverse, Nine of Cups. It feels like you might be getting ready to give up on something maybe that you've been trying to manifest into your life. Maybe because it hasn't been, things haven't been going your way or you don't feel like um, things are working out in your favor. There could be, again, some financial difficulties or some obstacles in the realm of finances that's keeping you from obtaining this Knight of Cups. So maybe you're giving up hope in regards to whatever this is, or feeling less confident, fear it, feeling unsure of maybe where to go next or what steps to take. This feels like it could be um, related to a job situation. Maybe you're moving toward seeking out new employment and you're not really sure which direction to go. Let's see what else we get for you, Gemini. So clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands again in reverse. And then the Sun again, this time in the upright position. Nine of Pentacles, 
clarifying the page of swords. The lovers is clarified by the seven of pentacles. Ten of wands in reverse is clarified by the king of pentacles. In reverse. And then the nine of cups is clarified by the seven of swords in reverse. Three of pentacles is clarified by the fool in reverse. And we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, clarifying the Sun in reverse. Okay, so we have the King and Queen of Pentacles on the table. And the Queen of Pentacles is getting ready to release possibly this individual release the, in, this individual feels like they've been a burden to this queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is releasing a burden the burden is the king of pentacles i mean that's possibly the most obvious message from this set of cards um This could be because there, there is some concern regarding finances. This King of Pentacles is in reverse. This could indicate this person is careless with money. This could indicate that this person is irresponsible. Um, or a little greedy or selfish. Or someone who... is not doing their fair share in a relationship or connection, possibly with this Queen of Pentacles. I think this Queen of Pentacles is seeing clearly what the imbalance is. We have the Seven of um, Swords in reverse on the table with this King of Pentacles, which could indicate there's been some possible deceit in the past or some shady behavior or this king of pentacles might have been trying to get away with something maybe this king of pentacles has taken advantage of this queen of pentacles um i feel like this relationship is one that is established this connection between these two, Gemini. We have the lovers, there's your card. I do feel like this is a relationship of longevity, a connection. It does feel like a partnership to me. <clears throat> I think that you've invested a lot of time and energy into this connection. It could be a, like I said, uh, a marriage. It could be a business partnership. I think this queen might want to strike out on her own. I think she is maybe feeling like she would be better off on her own. Um, but, and again, I do feel like this is you, Gemini, this queen of pentacles energy. You might be feeling cautious about, about informing this king of pentacles of your intentions, maybe not feeling really up to the task of delivering your message that you think that you would be better off on your own more financially secure sorry about the cat meowing he's causing issues over there what's wrong sylvester come here come here come here um i think that th this could potentially be a business partnership and it feels like this queen might be considering branching off on her own um, because I think that this partnership might be on shaky ground, that there is not, um, a not, not an equal give and take, not equal responsibility. Um, but there might be some uncertainty regarding how to deliver this message, how to communicate 
what is needed, what needs to be done or where you're going from here, Gemini. Maybe you're uncertain about whether this is the right move to make to release this king of pentacles. I think you're carrying the, the, um, the majority of the load when it comes to the responsibility within this relationship or partnership that maybe this king is coming across as dead weight if i'm being honest i mean the more I, sylvester come here come here come here you can't be meowing like that you're too loud he's gonna keep doing it i can tell So I'm just going to ignore him. Hopefully, Gemini, you can ignore him too. So again, I feel like this king, the more I look at this, this setup, this first two set of cards that have come out, this king is starting to feel a little bit like dead weight. And maybe he's pulled one over on you. Maybe he's um, made you feel like, like this, was, this was the perfect partnership. This was the perfect dynamic that this was going to be successful and this is exactly what you wanted. But I think that he's, he's pulled one over on you. He's, he's kind of, um, maybe seen an opportunity. Oppor maybe he's a bit of an opportunist. He kind of sees Gemini that you're this queen of pentacles energy, very responsible, very capable, very reliable, loyal, um, I just get the feeling like you are doing all the work and not gaining any advan advantage regarding this partnership with this king. Whether Again, whether this is an actual marriage, um, business partnership, uh, maybe you two are working on a project together. Um, it feels like you went into something together that, that would, I need to give this one more shuffle. Maybe you went into something together to build something, maybe a small business, something that would, would benefit you both financially. But you're carrying the, the brunt of the, the responsibility. And I think, in essence, you're basically, he's this guy feels like a freeloader. He's just kind of tagging along for the for the ride and reaping the benefits, but not really participating in what it takes to build whatever it is you two have been building. And I don't know that you've spoken to this king yet about your feelings, about maybe wanting to strike out on your own or feeling like you do much better on your own um, without this king. Okay, so the queen is clarified by the tower. Looks like you're bringing down the tower, Gemini. And the fool, this time in the upright position. I feel like you want to strike out on your own. Ace of Pentacles. And this is a solo, this is a solo opportunity for you at this point in time. I think you have come to realize that you would be much better off without this other person kind of hanging on. High Priestess in Reverse. Nine of Wands in Reverse, clarifying the Ten of Wands in Reverse, clarifying the King. The Magician in Reverse. The Hierophant in Reverse. And the moon clarifying the sun in reverse. Okay, so this message is cr coming across really cr clear, Gemini. So I want to go through these cards um, and then get this last round out. So I think it's clear that Gemini is bringing down the tower right now. And, and by that I mean you're releasing a burden. Um, you're releasing an individual who I feel has been taking advantage of you. Um, partnering up with you when in reality you're carrying the load for the two of you and this relationship is imbalanced it's not fair it's not equal it's very clear you have no 
you, you're, you have no doubt about where you stand in regards to how you feel about this relationship right now and you want a new start on your own. I don't know that you've delivered this message or communicated this yet, but the Knight of Pentacles again indicates um, someone, a single energy, someone who is very stable and capable and doing quite well um, and very happy in their life. And this is a new opportunity for, again, you to strike out on your own and drop all the dead weight. Again, I think that this is a connection that you have, you've invested some time and energy into, and maybe you thought that something would come of it, but um, part of you may have been ignoring your intuition because, because you probably saw some red flags early on and maybe ignored those because this relationship feels like it's one of longevity, feels like one that you've, again, invested a lot of time and energy into, and you probably were reluctant to let it go even though you may have seen some red flags in the past that indicated this wasn't right for you. This king has been nothing but a burden. And, uh, and, and again, dead weight, this extra appendage is just hanging around, just flapping in the wind. There's nothing that this person is offering in, in, um, in regards to the stability of this relationship or this partnership. This person is quite literally dead weight that you need to release. And I think you've come to understand that quite clearly. Not only is this person dead weight, I think that this person is deceitful and I think they're a manipulator. And I think that you are their dream come true because they have been taking advantage of you. They have been using you. This king of pentacles is an opportunist and you were exactly what this person wanted and exactly what this person needed. And they've been getting away with manipulation and the sneaky behavior, maybe acting like they've got all the answers or maybe acting like they're this critical um, piece in this partnership that they are maybe the reason for behind the success. But in reality, moving forward in this partnership and trying to continue to build with this person would be a very foolish mistake, would be the wrong decision to make, would be the wrong path to choose. And I think the only thing standing in your right way right now, Gemini, is that you're not sure how to break the news. You haven't spoken about this yet or communicated your desires to walk away. This is a mystery for this person. Right now, you're the one pulling the wool over this person's eyes instead of vice versa because I think you figured this person out. And instead of coming right out and saying, that's it, I'm done with you. I'm walking away from this relationship and doing this by, by myself. I don't need your extra dead weight hanging on to me, using up my resources, using up my money, taking up my energy. Gemini, it's it's clear in these cards that you've made a decision and you are absolutely 100% on the right track, without a doubt. Without a doubt. This is one of the clearest message I, messages I've seen in a very long time. I mean, it's, it's as blatant as a slap in the face right now, Gemini, that this king of pentacles... has been deceitful, has been manipulating the situation and manipulate, manipulating you. You are exactly what they wanted in their life and they want to keep this just at, they want to keep things as is because you are making them happy. But I think Gemini, I think you realize this is not the direction you're going to continue to go. Let's see what else we get for you, Gemini. This last two rounds of cards. So clarifying the Ten of Wands in your underlying energy, we have the Ten of Swords. <laughs> and then we have the Two of Cups in reverse, clarifying the sun. I'm laughing because this message is just like, it's just so clear and obvious that you're ready to dump this piece of crap. And I am so happy for you, Gemini. <laughs> uh, ten of... Um, Cups, clarifying the nine of pentacles. 
you have the Ten of Pentacles, this could potentially be a marriage. Whatever this relationship is to you, it's again one that has been established over a long period of time. You've invested a lot into this person. You share a lot of assets with them. And, and that's probably part of the reason why you haven't come out in the open and spoken about this yet, because you want to make sure that all your ducks are in a row, that you've got everything in place before you speak your intentions to this individual. Because like I said before, they're an opportunist and they might manipulate the situation if they have too much information, if they have too much knowledge. Four of Pentacles clarifying the king. He wants to hang on to you. You are his bread and butter. You are his security. You are everything that this person wants. Seven of Pentacles. But he is a waste of your time. Because this person has deceived you. This person is a liar. Ace of Swords. Clarifying the Fool in reverse. The truth is, moving forward, this person is the worst idea ever and the queen is clarified by the knight of swords so again i feel like you haven't you haven't necessarily come out in the open with your intentions um i think this person might still be in the dark in regards to that you might be careful might be um careful about how you're going to release this information how you're going to give this information to this person that it's that you're getting ready to, to dump this load and end this relationship. I think you're very clear that the end is near and probably overdue. And um, I think you're in your, with, what's going on in your head is very crystal clear. You know exactly where you wanna go and what you wanna do. I know the cat's still meowing, but my son's alarm just went off and the cat's food is in there and the door is still closed. So you're not being able to eat, are you? Well, that's... <laughs> Sorry about the noise. <laughs> All right, um, Gemini, let's get one last round. And then we'll talk about these a little bit more. So we have death death card in that same set of cards and then the six of pentacles in reverse clarifying the six of pentacles in reverse um, page of wands I think you're reluctant I don't think you want to deliver this news I think that it's not going to make you happy to come forward and, and let this king know what your intentions are and what you what you're planning on doing eight of wands the Empress, this person, this is how this person thinks of you. You are every, you were all that in a bag of chips, Gemini, to this individual. And they want to hang on to that. Six of Wands. Seven of Swords again. Oh my gosh. And Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, so I'm going to show you all these cards again because they're just, this story is just so it's so it's just crystal clear crystal clear for me okay here you are releasing this burden burden and bringing an end to this relationship and this may not I, i'm sure it's not a happy situation for you but you are clear on what you want to do and what you need to do gemini so you're bringing down the tower on this relationship bringing an end to it bringing a close to the, sylvester please stop meowing like that He's not going to stop meowing. So you're clear, to, at least in your eyes, this relationship is over. It's not over in this king's eyes. He doesn't want you to go anywhere. But you need a new start because there is nothing for you left in this relationship. There is just... This, this relationship is empty for you. There's nothing left here. For you, Gemini. Sylvester, please stop. You're driving me nuts. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come up here. 
Come sit in my lap for a while. Come on. Come here. Come here. Okay, he's not even going to sit in my lap. Normally, he would jump up here and be perfectly happy, but I, he's not going to do it. Okay, so again, I, I know, I, I feel like you want to branch out on your own, Gemini, but you are not necessarily looking forward to initiating this conversation, um, expressing um, your desires. It's not making you happy. You know, this is going to absolutely um, cause this person to crash and burn because they are going to be devastated. This king will be devastated when this happens. This relationship, I believe, again, has been one of longevity. It's one that you've invested a lot of time and energy into. I think that you have built a lot between the two of you, but I think that you're the one who's doing all the work. Um, so you, you have um, financial stability. You've probably got... Um, Again, it feels like there's a, there's a lot between the two of you. You maybe have a home together, a business, um, and that's that's a lot to let go of. And so this this conversation that I think you're getting ready to have or thinking about having is certainly not a fun one. Now, this King of Pentacles um, sees you as the Empress, and frankly, Gemini, you are and they're hanging on to you as tightly as they possibly can. But, but this guy, this guy is about as dead weight as it gets. This person is not your equal as far as partners go. And I think that this person has felt like over time, they have been very successful in making you feel like they are the partner for you, but this has all been a, 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 a game. Um, this has all been them playing the part, um, pretending to be someone that they're not. And I think that you've definitely uncovered the mystery, if there ever was one, regarding this individual and who they really are to you. Master manipulator, opportunist, Someone who's just taking advantage, taking everything that they... You might be worried about delivering this message because you might be worried about what they got, they've got up their sleeve when they realize that you're not moving forward with them, with this king. Um, and that, I think that's why you kept this from this person for as long as you have. You might be concerned about what, how this person will react and I think that's why you've kept quiet um, regarding this new beginning, because you know that this person is gonna see this as um, you taking everything from them. So for now, I think you've got this under wraps. I think that it's, it's, a, it's a secret that you're keeping to yourself. Um, Based on what I'm seeing in the cards, Gemini, A, you're making the right move by getting this person out of your life. And B, um, I think you are smart in keeping this person in the dark, at least for now, based on their history, based on what I can see this, this type of person is to you. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if this person's reaction was to lawyer up and um, try to continue to take advantage of the situation and you. So you're smart to get all your ducks in a row first. Make sure you've got a plan on how you're going to get out. Um, lawyer up yourself. Get ready for a, a fight. But um, be prepared to the point where this person will not have any leg to stand on. And you're, you've got the advantage because this person doesn't want to lose you. So it's not like they're going to initiate a separation, um, a split. Um, they're not going to try to, if, if this is a business partnership, they're not going to try to break any contracts with you. Um, the ball is in your court to make sure you have everything ready and set before you even let this person in on what your thoughts are regarding this relationship and where you're headed which is out the door and away from this King of Pentacles.
and the last thing you need to do is give them any any idea regarding your plans until you're absolutely 100% ready to go with this. Sneak attack. That's what they've been doing to you, Gemini. Um, let's get a, a Dreams of Gaia tarot card to end this reading. Gemini, based on what I'm seeing, um, you are absolutely right on target with, with your thoughts, your feelings, and your plans. And you know exactly who this person is. Sylvester. Okay, the meowing's starting to drive me nuts. I hope it's not driving you nuts. Gemini. My cat's gonna make people turn my video off. He's not my cat, he's my son's cat. And so that's why I'm not even, I'm not opening the door because, to let him in because my son would get mad and So, you know, I love the cat, but he's technically not my cat. So I'm just going to leave it alone and hope that I don't lose viewers because it's meowing. Okay, I need a card, Spirit, one card for Gemini to end this reading. Some advice um, on moving forward, closing statement, final thought. What should Gemini know? How should Gemini proceed um, with the situation? One card. You know, the other thing too, and I think part of the reason why you're a little reluctant in in delivering this message and it's really making you unhappy to even think about it is that um, you have built such a solid found okay this one just this one fell out into my lap so I'm gonna take it it's the ace of swords it's a great card and absolutely applies to this reading for sure but anyway um, what I was saying is I think that part of the reason why you're, you're reluctant to move forward and communicate with this person is partly because you know who they are and, and that they would probably take advantage of the situation if they see that they have any way to take advantage of keeping you in, in your place or making sure they can you know get one step ahead of you um, but you've all you've also definitely built such a solid foundation with this person um, <laughs> that going about, you know, ending this, I'm sure is very challenging and very difficult. If it's the type of relationship I'm seeing in the cards. So we have Ace of Air, which is Ace of Swords. In the traditional Rider Waite, if you're not familiar with um, tarot meanings, um, this would be all about the truth, justice, um, seeing cl things clearly, um, making decisions, having a clear mind, um, honesty, um, living in your truth, that kind of thing. And um, these cards, as you know, if you've been watching my channel, tend to have a little bit of a different meaning. So I am going to read it from the book. It's about a page long. So here we go, Gemini. The Ace of Air symbolizes a new way of thinking. It suggests that it is now time to let go of old, outdated beliefs and ideas that no longer serve and make way for a new and independently formed personal ideology. It is time to unlearn and let go of ideas and opinions born of societal conditional conditioning, inaccuracies, and false assumptions, and replace them with ideas born of self-awareness, fact, and genuine knowledge. It is also time to recognize both for what they are and learn to differentiate between the two. Its appearance in your reading lets you know it is also time to honor personal truths that have foundation in your own experiences, instead of embracing the truths of others and making them your own. To do otherwise is to wear an ill-fitting pair of shoes borrowed or stolen from another. While they may protect your feet, they will also pinch and rub, and over time can do more harm than good. It is time to realize that to travel well and to go the distance, you need a pair of shoes that fit well because they are made for you specifically. It is the same with personal ideology. Your life experiences will offer lessons that impart both practical knowledge and wisdom. Objective analysis can provide insight and understanding that reveals how your life experiences Thoughts and emotions influence all of your choices and the outcomes born of those choices. Your physical reality is first conceived within the mind. 
The Ace of Air is offering an opportunity to embrace new paradigms and patterns and to replace those that limit and restrict you. Now you can change your mind and in do it, doing so, change the way you make the choices that determine your direction and shape your reality. You can cut away all the clouds, judgment and perception that prevents you from knowing your true mind. Clarity will come with peeling away the layers of imposed dogma and beliefs born of past disappointments and hurt. The Ace of Air also symbolizes a time of feeling motivated and excited by the ideas in your head, your goals and dreams, and because they are yours, it is time to take them and make them more. This marks the beginning of the individualization process we all must go through in order to realize our fullest potential. There you go, Gemini. Time to, to stand in your truth and to take your power back. Um, I do also think that this, this, this card um, rec shows that, that, of course, you've been in this, this relationship with this person and, and societal expectations would say, well, you, you've invested so much time into this relationship, this partnership, this business, this, this, um, this legacy you've built with this individual and expectations Societal expectations say, well, you should stick with it. You should work on it. You should, you should work things out. You should, you know, do all you can to save this. On the other hand, I think that you're clear that, that this isn't right for you. What you have right now is not right for you. This person is not serving you and it's not serving you to hang on to this individual. So I'm going to leave that there, um, Gemini. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope that you got something out of it. I hope you're able to move forward with lots of success. Um, thank you so much for joining me today and viewing if this reading did resonate for you. Please um, like and subscribe and leave a comment if you don't mind. That would be fabulous as well. Um, take care and I wish you all the luck and I hope I see you again soon. Bye, Gemini.